Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we waited far too long for this video to come out, and so here we are now, NBA 2K25 on mobile, let's get it, we have no time to talk, let's not even waste any time right now, let's just get into my career, first we need ourselves a build, so that's exactly what I am going to do, create one, but right now these face cans are beyond bland and basic, it's going to take me a while, and so this could be a huge huge process to go through so without further ado give me a moment to get my build together okay hold on a few inches later okay now we're ready now we are officially ready as you can see i made this guy named rick Hendricks. i feel like this is an improvement from last year's viral cruise or whatever so here i am i made me a shooting guard i was going to make a point guard but then at the same time i wanted to switch things up this year and before you ask before you start judging me i am going to up the difficulty to pro for now, at the very least, as far as playing my career games, I'm not sure how it's going to go, but let's choose that. And on top of that, what better way to choose a team than to be with the most talked about team as of late, which is the LA Lakers. Welcome to NBA 2K25 Arcade, blah, 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 we get it. And so here we go, choosing my first endorsement. Of course, I have to choose Nike. I was going to go with Jordan because to be fair, I think they did this last year, if I'm not mistaken. But either way, I know Nike pays a a whole lot of athletes at this point so i chose nike and right out the gate i got a quest saying talk to lonnie in the neighborhood so i was like what does this mean and then my god what is this chat 2k done upgraded on mobile but at the same time why do i have to talk to lonnie about hey how's it going like what like stop asking me questions tell me how's it going it's not going good. I swear these people. But anyway, long story short, he gave me a quest to try out some street ball games or whatever. So I'm guessing the two courts behind him over there. Meanwhile, I have to talk to this lady who is the connection court manager. I have zero clue what that is. But once I clicked on quest, I got set into a team with two superstar players. And it's the same CPU from last year. Wow, what an upgrade this is. I cannot imagine playing that game, but I wasn't ready yet. So as you can see, I headed into the 2K store and why do these clothes cost 2,500 a piece? Why not give the players who play this game for the first time 5,000 VC to start with? I guarantee you that could benefit for something, but even then they have to be so that's a different topic anyway with that being said guys um let's see why i got in the closet so as you can see i don't really have much per se but why is my player why is my player dancing like this what what are these 2k13 tier animations what is going on but anyway look at this dragon tattoo it's so small and bite-sized like like who who wears that in real life like let's just keep it a buck okay who wants to wear a small tattoo like that and look at these jeans peep the jeans i'm looking like a character coming out of def jam icon son like what is going on bro but you know what enough about that let's just try out two games so as you can see we have a 3v3 court of course and now a 2v2 court so we have two separate courts instead of just one big playground slash park from last year and now peep this they now got intros on mobile but guess what you you already know i had no choice but to skip these because who wants to waste time watching these intros on the mobile at least i don't but anyway lag already right out the gate so i i guarantee 2k managed to give us two separate courts but not fix the lag i'm not sure if it's my phone or my connection or whatever i have no idea but i like how once i made a bucket it literally gave me take over this quickly early on in the game that's different so as you can possibly tell this game has been moving a bit slow i can't even lie and check this out bro i legit thought this shot meter i did not notice the shot meter was still that long like dude if there is a way to change the shot meter in which i somehow doubt it but if there is a way to do so i would appreciate it if they were to allow us to do that on mobile but again i doubt it so i have no idea how that's going to work out but either way the game is now one two three as you can see again i'm telling you man that core vision is something scary right now and check this out check this out how is it possible 
for a 60 overall to legit rip the ball out of somebody's hands that easily and of course i'm still a 60 overall okay just keep that in mind but again i'm not mad at it so as you can see i got takeover right out the gate and of course i had a feeling that guy would miss the shot at the corner of course i had a feeling he would miss that put back layup and so it's my turn to start shooting that three and guess what i made it even with takeover with a half white bar now not gonna lie i swear whether it's on console or on mobile it don't even matter the questionable defense is still apparent i don't know why but guess what it don't matter because you know why i literally shot that shot again it's a white bar and I'm still at 60 overall. I cannot get over that. But moving on, the game is now 2 to 8. So as you can see, I have to literally call for the ball. And for some reason, he got that lucky layup in. Okay, that's cool. And so now it is time for our opponents to start scoring. I hate that layup animation so much. They can get away with just so much cheese, dude. It's just ridiculous in 2024. And now here I am with particular court vision that sets me up for an open dunk just like that okay i ran around the guy and here i am getting an open look once again for another three-point shot and that was a lucky one i will admit that was a lucky shot right there i can't even hold you and just like that we won the first game back on mobile okay 3v3 too easy okay it was nearly a blowout almost almost a blowout bro now real quick i want you guys to peep these stats okay i got literally seven points four assists three steals five for six nearly perfect from the field goal i know it may not look like much but you cannot tell me i don't carry my team every now and again okay and peep this i got rewards now so let's see what's up so right out the gate they give us these cheap looking hoodies these camouflage hoodies and then for some reason they had the nerve to give us this small tattoo for our neck and on top of that they have these cheap jeans that don't necessarily look too different from one another and so let's just forget about that for now moving on to the 2v2 court and look at this i have a 95 overall teammate i better not get sold by this teammate okay now if you guys look closely we have a 72 overall and an 80 overall on the other side as opponents and look at this my 95 overall teammate right next to me and he's mad tall too believe it or not so with that being said let's get right into it and out the gate we got ourselves of course our first bucket so with that being said this dude can drive to the paint swiftly and with good reason too and on top of that we got a easily lucky shooting foul but guess what we'll take those points so now the score is 0 and 3 so far make that 0 and 4 right now it seems like we are definitely washing these boys just outright wiping the floor with them every step of the way until that happened and at that point, I was just like, oh my goodness, come on, bro. Please do not sell on God if you sell me. I promise you, bro. So with that being said, the score is 0 and 5 right now. And of course, he ended up missing that layup or a shot put up whatever you want to call it listen the point is we are up 0 and 6 so now it is our chance to get our revenge okay because i don't know how this guy is this mad tall he has a higher overall rating than me and he choked a huge layup that badly bro against another big man which is sad okay it's literally sad but we're getting ourselves together until that happened again to the point where it's now making me question my life choices because like bro what have i done what did i get myself into at this point you know what i mean so once i literally saw that dude score that bucket i was like okay bro i see what this is and oh, hey yo hey yo please excuse that interruption i have no idea that i got my reddit notifications on the entire time and obviously what's even worse is that not only did i call for the ball but buddy on my team legit threw an interception a pick six on the court and now he is getting out rebounded by a smaller guy a point guard a 72 overall out rebounding a 95 overall is crazy it's insane to me so it's like bro what is going on and as you can see i was just this close i was this darn close to quitting this game because at this point i'm trying so hard to get a rebound and i'm still getting out rebounded by a big man the miss matching has got to stop but now we get the ball back and <laughs> <laughs> 
I promise you, after all of the shots I made previously, I ended up missing that one. And I did it. It was entirely my fault. But check this out. Guess what happens next after this? Bro, Buddy went AFK for a huge 40 plus seconds, I can't even tell. And he made that, bro. He legit made that. And here we go. You will not believe what happens next, bro. Watch this, watch this. And we legit lost like that. A, a tall, a big man who is an 80 overall making a three-point shot i can't tell if he's a stretch big he might as well be i like bro i don't know bro we legit sold a we sold the game we sold the bag this 95 overall is garbage it's not just me but it was him too oh my goodness bro um yeah um outside of that game um, this game seems to be an upgrade. NBA 2K25 Arcade Mobile looks like a legit game so far. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Bro, I'm out.